Coming up on Ask the Tech Guy, my Wi-Fi doesn't work with my IoT device. What do I do? Stay tuned. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Whether they're working in the office or remote, visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Leo Laporte here, your tech guy. Time to help Elizabeth out. She writes, I have an Asus RT AC5300 router. Very nice router, Elizabeth. That's the one that looks like a spider with all those antennas. Uh, I keep the adaptive QoS set to on. So I was hoping that would let the router decide which band to use for which device. Some devices, like my Dyson 360i, aren't compatible with 5G bands. And when I try to get that robotic vacuum cleaner onto my network... The vacuum cleaner and the router just can't see each other. Am I missing something? I'm guessing that a mesh system, like adding a SUS AI mesh nodes, wouldn't help since I'm in a small 1,300 square foot house, right? Thanks for your help. Thank you, Elizabeth. And you're right. Your problem is not Wi Fi access, your problem is the band. Most modern routers, including your very nice ASUS router, are tri band, at least dual band. Yours is tri-band. That means one 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency and one or two 5 gigahertz frequencies. But as you point out, your, uh, your Dyson and many other IoT devices just won't work with 5 gigahertz. Unfortunately, some of them will actually join a 5 gigahertz network not knowing the difference, and then be unusable. So there are a number of solutions to try. In some cases, I don't know if this is true. I think it is true, actually, on your Asus. You can temporarily turn off the 5 gigahertz band. So before you pair that Dyson vacuum cleaner, go into your router settings and say, turn off the 5 gigahertz radios. I don't want those working. And then the uh, Dyson will, without any problem paired to the 2.4 gigahertz don't worry it will stay paired to that it won't join the five in most cases uh, and you should be okay now if it does from time to time switch over to the five there's another choice with that asus router you can have different names for the different bands so you can have asus 2.4 g and you can have asus 5g using a different ssid a different name should keep that dyson from accidentally joining the wrong band but that's not possible in all routers. It's not possible to turn off 5G in all routers. For example, the Eero router currently, as we record this, does not let you turn off the 5G radio or rename it. Uh, I'm told you can call Eero support and you can say, hey, turn off 5G temporarily and, <laughs> and they'll do that. Then you could pair the Dyson. It would pair to the right frequency. And then you can call them and say, okay, you can turn it back on now. That seems like a lot of work. Eero says they are going to add that capability to the firmware down the road. Here, I have one more trick and it's the funniest trick it's a very old school trick it was uh, uh, shared with me i think from one of our uh, chat room listeners during the radio show because we had somebody ask a similar question and i didn't even think of this but it's brilliant turns out 5g does not travel as far as 2.4 gigahertz so here's what you do and this is wacky you go outside you take your dyson robotic vacuum cleaner for a little walk and you walk far enough that you can no longer see the 5 gigahertz but you can still see the 2.4 now your house is small so you may have to go some distance you might even have to go out in the street but at some point you're going to lose that 5 gigahertz and you're going to be able to pair the Dyson to the 2.4 gigahertz and then come back inside I know I know that's crazy talk but it actually works it takes advantage of the fact that 2.4 gigahertz goes a lot farther than 5 gigahertz. How far? Well, I think if you get beyond 100 feet, you're probably okay. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz will go as far as 150 feet. 5 gigahertz is a lot shorter. I think once you get past that 100 foot mark, you should probably be okay. It may take a little trial and error, some experimentation, but that, <laughs> that is one way to do it. Easier to do it with the vacuum cleaner than, let's say, a, uh, a, a camera doorbell. 
um, that might be a little bit more tricky, but you can do that. So there's a few ways you can get your IoT device off the 5 gigahertz band, which it can't use. And unfortunately, still today, there are a lot of IoT devices that won't work on 5 gigahertz and onto the 2.4 gigahertz band. It's a, it's a great question. Uh, QoS is not going to help, unfortunately. Uh, adaptive QoS, QoS stands for quality of service, simply means that it will apply, if it sees you watching Netflix, it will give more bandwidth to Netflix than to your email or your browser because Netflix needs a more consistent rate of packets. That's all. It's not going to change the frequency or the band. Um, and, and many routers will kind of choose an appropriate uh, channel but that isn't going to help either. You just have to get off that 5 gigahertz band entirely. What a great question. Thank you, Elizabeth. Our show today brought to you by LastPass. From access to authentication to passwords, LastPass manages every access point to your business so you can mitigate risk while improving employee productivity. LastPass goes above and beyond to ensure security for all its users. The LastPass vault, your data encrypted and decrypted only at the device level. Increased security doesn't have to be more complex for your business. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to see how they can help you. Lastpass.com slash twit. We thank LastPass so much for making Ask the Tech Guy possible. I thank you for watching or listening. If you have a question, I'd love to hear it. Email Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv. I'm your tech guy, Leo Laporte, and I'll see you next week. Bye -bye. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email askthetechguy at twit.tv.